Welcome to RC Tech. The nice folks at Semantic Scholar of the Allen Institute for AI have partnered with the leading research groups to provide a dataset having more than 128,000 scholarly articles about the novel coronavirus. This dataset is called COD19 and can be used by researchers worldwide. Let us look at how we can perform clustering on this data and group these articles so that further analysis can be done on them. This is Ritesh Srinivasan. If you are new here and like such content, please subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. This dataset is available for download on the Semantic Scholar webpage. This dataset consists of close to 128k records. When you download the dataset, uh, you also download the metadata information about the dataset. Uh, this metadata information is present in a CSV file. Uh, where there are fields like abstract of the paper, the publication date, the link to the JSON file. Uh, this JSON file is nothing but the entire paper parsed in a specific JSON format. Then you also have the link to the paper itself and then its source. There are also other fields present in the metadata file, but I would be more interested in looking at the title and the abstract. I downloaded the latest data set from the COD19 website. Uh, this data set had close to 130k papers. Uh, and uh, when I looked at the metadata.csv file, there were uh, 19 columns. Uh, then I looked at the abstract column. Uh, I found out that for certain rows, there were no abstracts. Basically, certain papers, the abstract was not captured in this metadata.csv file. So I filtered the metadata.csv file. Uh, on abstract column and I removed the rows where abstracts were not present. This reduced the data from 130k papers to close to 105k papers. Then I did pre-processing on the abstracts uh, column. So what I did over here is I cleaned up the text and uh, did some lemmatization operation. Then I fed this abstracts column to the TF-IDF vectorizer. Uh, which computed the TF-IDF features. I selected only the top 500 features, uh, which gave me the TF-IDF matrix, which has 105k rows and 500 columns. Now on this TF-IDF matrix, I applied a technique called as principal component analysis to reduce the feature dimensions. Uh, for the moment, uh, PCA or principal component analysis is a technique of reducing uh, feature dimensions uh, basically by mapping the features to a different space where the new features are nothing but a linear combinations of the features in the old space so pca to explain pca there would be another video coming up at some point of time i would also put in the description links to uh, pca uh, now we get the pca matrix which is nothing but it has uh, 105k rows and 432 columns. From this PCA matrix, I again then select random, I select randomly uh, 20,000 rows. So we get the reduced PCA features matrix, which has close to 20,000 rows and 432 columns. So basically we are now looking at 20,000 papers and the features which are extract, PCA features extracted on the abstract uh, from these 20,000 papers. We then uh, perform k-means clustering on this reduced PCA matrix. Uh, so k-means clustering method is a method to partition data into k clusters. So here if k is 5 then it means that we are trying to uh, cluster the data into 5 clusters. right? But we don't know what is the optimal number of clusters which are present in the data set. Uh, so what we do is that we generate uh, k-means clustering using different numbers of clusters. Uh, we incrementally increase it from 1 to close to 50 clusters, assuming that there could be 50 groups of data in, in our papers. So then what we do is that we use a method called as uh, uh, elbow method to select the optimal number of clusters. So when I looked at the elbow method, basically the plot of uh, k-means using uh, a feature called as inertia in k-means or distortion in k-means, I found out that the optimal clusters is uh, 25. It could be even less or it could be even more. So I chose 25 over here. 
So what I then do is that I clustered the reduced PCA matrix using 25 as the number of clusters using k-means. So basically now I have a clustering model which can partition this reduced PCA matrix or 20,000 uh, papers into 25 clusters. What I do next is that I use this clustering model to predict the clusters on the entire PCA matrix or on the entire set of 105k papers, right? And then I get the cluster labels for each of these papers. Uh, so for more explanation on k-means, I have added uh, uh, links to k-means as well as the elbow method. So in this way, what I have done now is I have grouped the 105k papers into 25 clusters. The next step is to attach these cluster labels, concatenate these cluster labels with our uh, filtered metadata. So now we have this clustered metadata whereby every document in this 105k document set or paper set is now uh, grouped to a particular cluster. Right? What I then do is that for each cluster in the range from 1 to 25, basically based on the cluster label, I select the documents which belong to this cluster. And then I create a word cloud to visualize this cluster, but the word cloud is not based on the abstracts, but the word cloud is created from the titles within the cluster, right? So uh, now I have close to uh, 25 word cloud images, which have been created for each of these cluster. What I do then is that I start manually looking at these word clouds to see which words are important or which words have been highlighted. Based on that, I infer some detail on this word cloud. And then I manually inspect the titles within the cluster to see if these correlate with each other. So now let us look at the word clubs. Let us now look at uh, the clusters which we have obtained by our clustering method. So here we have cluster number 17 which has close to 3800 records. If you look at the word cloud formed from the titles present in this particular cluster, uh, you see the word detection is highlighted. You also see words like real-time PCR assay, RT-PCR. So when I went back and looked manually at the titles in this particular cluster, uh, you see titles also reflect the same. For example, in the titles, you see uh, detection assays, you see reverse transcription. Uh, so these group of documents are related to detection methodologies. And if you have to further uh, research upon detection methodologies, then you can look at this particular cluster. Cluster uh, number three has uh, close to 2000 records. So when you look at the word cloud formed from the titles of the papers in this cluster, uh, the highlight over here is words like vaccine, immune response, antigen, vaccination. Uh, so from this, we can infer that uh, this particular cluster has papers related to uh, development of vaccines, vaccination. Again, when I pulled up the titles of papers in this particular cluster, I see titles also reflect the same. Uh, titles talk about either a novel vaccine or efficacy of vaccines. Uh, so if we have to research further on vaccines, this is a good cluster for us to look at. Cluster number two has close to 3000 records or 3000 papers. Uh, if you look at the word cloud formed from the titles of these papers, uh, pandemic is highlighted, hospital is highlighted, medical epidemic, healthcare. Uh, so this cluster should be something to deal with, uh, uh, you know, uh, about the pandemic and about, uh, you know, how the pandemic is managed. So when I went back and looked at the titles, again, I see titles relevant to the word cloud like uh, lessons in disaster management, the potential impact of the next pandemic, uh, general practice during a pandemic, right? So if we have to read more on the pandemic, then this is a good uh, cluster. Cluster number five has close to 2000 records. And if you look at the word cloud here, uh, you see the word uh, severe acute respiratory uh, syndrome or SARS. Uh, so when I went and looked back into the titles, I again see that the titles most uh, the papers mostly talk about uh, SARS coronavirus strains. It talks about SARS propagation. It talks about uh, chloroquine. 
uh, it talks about the population mortality during the outbreak of uh, SARS so if we have to read anything related to SARS then this is a good uh, cluster cluster number six has close to 5000 uh, records or 5000 papers if you look at the word cloud over here on the titles you see that the word covid epidemic analysis using uh, outbreak model prediction so these kind of words are present uh, so i thought that this could be mostly about information related to the epidemic or an analysis of uh, you know uh, the epi epidemic so when i went back to the titles i again see that the titles talk about uh, the data set say for patient information based algorithm to predict mortality cause uh, some uh, papers on the analysis in how this epidemic has uh, affected uh, patients in Italy. Uh, so this is a good cluster for you know uh, papers related to analysis of the epidemic. Cluster number one had close to 878 papers or records. So when I look at the word cloud for this particular cluster, I see the word cytokine, interleukin, uh, so these are terms like inflammation, immune response. Uh, so cytokine storm was uh, mentioned as one of the main reasons for mortality. So when I went back and looked at the titles, I see titles also or papers talking about uh, the cytokine storm, about uh, pulmonary inflammation. So if we were to read about uh, the cytokine storm and uh, pulmonary inflammation and related uh, topics then this cluster has uh, the relevant papers cluster number eight has close to 7000 uh, papers so if you look at the word cloud on the titles over here you see words like treatment of inpatient uh, patients with coronavirus disease associated with ischemic stroke uh, so this uh, uh, cluster uh, talks about uh, the, the patient conditions and you know uh, how patients were uh, treated for certain conditions. So when I went and looked at the uh, titles of the papers in this cluster, I see words like acute myocardial injury is very common in patients with COVID-19 and impairs their prognosis. Uh, so uh, it also has other things like histological pattern in COVID-19 induced viral rash. Uh, it has about analysis of mortality in patients of COVID-19. Uh, so this is a good cluster of documents to look at to understand, you know, what are all the uh, manifestations of this uh, coronavirus uh, infection, uh, what other manifestations are seen other than the normal symptoms of uh, what you call cough, fever or cold. So there are other manifestations also which have come up like uh, acute myocardial injury or uh, viral rashes, right? So to know about more about uh, these kind of manifestations, uh, so we can look at uh, documents within this particular cluster. If you look at cluster number 10, uh, it has close to 3500 records. And when I looked at the word cloud for this particular cluster, I saw very common words like SARS, COV, but something which uh, struck me was words like protein, spike protein. So I thought that this could be something related to the genetic structure of the coronavirus. So again, when I went and looked at the titles which are present in this particular cluster, uh, I saw titles uh, like genomic sequencing of uh, SARS coronavirus, uh, microbiological characteristics, Characteristics, serological responses and clinical manifestations in SARS. So this cluster mostly talks about the genetic structure and uh, some implications of the genetic structure of coronavirus. Cluster number 13 had close to 17,000 records. So when I looked at again the word cloud on the titles for this particular cluster, I see words like Middle East, uh, respiratory uh, syndrome, infectious diseases. But I also saw words like cat system, feline infectious. Uh, so I didn't know what this cluster is talking about. But then when I started looking at the titles, uh, there were some interesting papers uh, which, which was talking about emerging zoonotic uh, diseases. Uh, which was talking about MERS, uh, which was talking about how uh, 
the knowledge attitudes and behaviors of healthcare workers in the kingdom of saudi arabia to mers coronavirus and other emerging infectious diseases uh, so this is a mixed bag cluster but it mostly talks about uh, the zoonotic diseases if we look at the word cloud for cluster number 15 which had close to 4000 records uh, the word cloud here highlights words like epidemic public health mental health infectious disease of covid so when i went and looked at the titles in this particular cluster the titles uh, emphasize topics like surveillance uh, social topics like face mask shortage uh, public health measures so if you are interested in looking at these kind of topics then this is a very good cluster to look at in summary i have described a method by which you can create clusters out of the covid uh, cod19 dataset you can also visualize uh, these clusters using word clouds on the uh, generated on their titles right so now you can actually group these data into various uh, clusters of interest or topics and perform further analysis This entire code is hosted on uh, GitHub along with the clustered results. Uh, you can download this code, you can play around with the uh, clusters and you can further improve the clustering method and uh, do your own analysis, right? If you like such content, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Please like and share the video. Don't forget to press the bell icon uh, so that you get notified whenever I create new videos. See you in the next video. Bye.